The Thumbs Origami Stroller. And this is what makes the origami so unique. So let's review and show you how to with the Thumbs Origami. that has its own power fold and unfold, LCD screen with built-in thermometer, trip and lifetime odometers, lights and charges itself as you walk, as well as a list of other features we're going to cover in this review. My husband and a few of his mates totally love the look of the origami and the fold, stating, and I quote, if I, man and pair of pots ever had a baby, this would be their stroller. The stroller itself weighs in at 15.5 kilos with the standard seat or 12.5 kilos with the bassinet fitted. So that is up there in the weight range for a single stroller. It can carry a max weight of 17 kilos in the main seat and nine kilos in your bassinet. Starting at the top, the padded handles are not adjustable in height. However, they are at a very comfortable height off the floor with good clearance. There's no crossbar at the bottom of the stroller, so lots of room for a longer stride when walking. To the left you have the activation dial, which has an outer ring that you turn to activate the power fold and unfold, and then you press the button, but we're not going to do that. And it also changes the options on the LCD screen from imperial to metric or vice versa, and resets your odometer. There's also a small block switch located at the base of the activation dial, so you can prevent inquisitive little people from operating the stroller, which is a really great safety feature. You have two open cup holders on the top here, and then you have the LCD screen, which shows you battery life, left here, off on the side here, the temperature, your current walking speed, a trip odometer, and a lifetime odometer. The child indicator picture, will display when you have a baby in the seat and when there's no baby in the seat it will appear empty as it is now just in case you forget the origami stroller has a built-in safety feature that it will not power fold down if the seat's occupied it flashes red and says error right beside the stroller picture is two little padlock images that confirms the central bar latches are engaged and the stroller is safe to use and a tiny bit of extra detailing on the child indicator. It has a cute little bow on its head if it's a girl, and you can choose to remove that by the activation dial if you have a boy. Now the brake is really simple and very sandal or flip-flop friendly. Just press down firmly to lock and step down to release. This does take a bit of weight to do, so my three-year-old was not able to release the brake. So quickly the fold, it's seriously effortless. Just turn your control ring till it goes blue, press your center button until you hear a little tune, and then you need to watch it fold. The origami folds in three dimensions, allowing it to fold to a small size in length, height, and width. It doesn't have a standing fold, however, it does have two small wheels under the front base section that allows you to pull or push the stroller along, which is handy because as I mentioned before, it is on the heavy side, so you do want to have a good grip when you're lifting it into your car. The fold is on the compact side, however, we still weren't able to fit this in our small car boot. It went into our larger boot space. Now to unfold, it's just a matter of reaching that dial to go blue, press the center button, stand clear as it unfolds. It sure did draw attention by other moms. The daytime running lights will come on when the stroller is opened and will turn off again after three minutes of no movement. After 10 seconds of movement, they will come back on. The origami has half weight lights, extra bright LED lights for low lit situations that are automatically triggered on and off by a little sensor up at the LCD screen. Again, you can actually adjust the brightness of the running lights if you like. And if you're wondering, there is a manual override to open and close the stroller if ever required, although it does take a few steps which involve removing the seat to do. Now the sun hood is great. It's nice and large and it opens easily. The fabric's quite light and stretchy, almost like lycra. And there's a large mesh section under this flap here, which is good airflow and visibility to baby, which is great because the seat can only be in a forward facing position. The peekaboo flap can be secured back down into place 
by a small little bit of Velcro at the back here. The seat recline is quite minimal and is done from the back by loosening the seat strap here just by pushing it down all the way to the end of the strap here and then you just pull the seat back. So that's the total recline, so up, down. Now that's because the central bar at the back of the origami doesn't really allow for any more room for a deeper recline than this. So you certainly have to use the bassinet for your newborns. To push the seat back up, you just tighten the strap here, so that's nice and simple. So the origami has some extra accessories you can buy separately, which I have a few to show you. Up here I have the handlebar bag and cell phone charger cable, so you can charge your phone when you're out walking. The bag's really great to keep your phone and your car keys in easy reach. When you purchase the origami stroller, it comes with a standard silver seat base. However, you can purchase the colour kit, so you can personalise the colour of your stroller. It's very simple to install as it has Velcro. It Velcro's in a place, as you can see here, there's little Velcro tabs, so you just stick that on the back of the seat. It's really easy to remove to wash. And then there's the For Mum's Bassinet attachment, so you can use the stroller from birth. To attach the bassinet, first you need to remove the main seat. And to do that, you have two main points, but first you need to unclip the strap that's bound around the stroller frame, central column here. Just unclip that. Then undo the pins top and bottom. Now this is done both hands because you need to push a button in with one hand to pull the pin out of the other. And then you need to do that again at the top here. So just pushing your button in while you're pulling the pin out and then the seat will come away from the frame. The bassinet attachment comes in two pieces. You have the bassinet adapter and the bassinet itself. You need to make sure the bassinet adapter has been connected to the base here. Um, quite soon, so pull your rings out, slot that in, and then your second one is here. Then it's just a matter of actually slotting your bassinet into place. There we go. To release the bassinet, you just need to pull the handle here at the front to remove it. The bassinet is always rearward facing and does need to be removed in order to fold the stroller as it will show that the seat is occupied on the LCD screen. So the drivability and handling of the origami. You can feel the smallest amount of resistance from the back wheels sort of when it's charging, but it's not enough to make pushing the stroller heavy work. The turning circle is good, and the four wheel suspension means bumps are smoothed out. However, the front wheel size means this is more suited for your well-paved areas and easier to move up with both hands. The suspension and the design of the stroller means when you're turning the stroller, it feels like it's really leaning into the corners, quite like a car. It feels really different to any other stroller I've tested. This stroller certainly pulls the looks and draws crowds, especially when you use the power fold or unfold function. And the daytime lights really attracted attention at the shops. Now the seat on the origami has great support and padding with a reflective strip that runs around the edging. The storage bag and the seat insert are both machine washable and we found the fabrics are easy to wipe clean. Now the harness is a five point padded harness that does require that you slot the shoulder strap into the waist strap and then that goes into your central clip here. It's not difficult to do, however, it can be a bit fiddly to do up, especially with a wiggly toddler in the seat. However, the clip it will release in one with a firm press in the centre and the shoulder strap comes apart from the waist strap easily for easier toddler and baby removal. You have two heights for harness adjustment. To tighten, just pull down on the strap and to loosen that alpha gain, just pulling up. Same with the waist strap, pulling out and pulling up. Now to actually change the height on the harness, you need to take off the shoulder strap, pull it through to the lower level, it's fixed at the back, then re-thread your harness clip through the shoulder strap padding and you're ready to go. Something a bit different is in the seat base here, is two cup or drink holder slots, or you can put a snack cup in there. However, this does restrict the seat width a little, yet it is really handy because currently there is no snack tray accessory for the origami. So the storage in the back of the origami, you have two deep bottle pocket holder slots, a small size pocket in the centre of the seat, and a hanging basket which attaches to the central post and hangs down. The hanging basket is removable, however, will only hold a small size handbag 
or a few loose items. Now onto the wheels. The rear wheels are self-charging. They have a generator inside this area here to charge the origami while you walk and also to charge your cell phone via the charging cable I showed you earlier. The origami also comes with its own charging cable. You connect into the base of the unit and plug it into a general power outlet to charge the stroller. So the stroller has four wheel suspension and the front wheels are 15.2 centimeters in diameter. Something to note, the front wheels cannot be locked into place. They are swivel wheels and the rear wheels are 22.9 centimeters in diameter. So again, great for well paved paths and more firm gravel paths. To remove the front wheels, just push in the black button on the inside of the frame and for the wheel, just push in the center button and pull off. Things to like. The power fold and unfold means no sweat for mum or dad trying to work out levers and seat positions. Obviously those tech loving parents will love the digital display and what that brings, being able to keep track of how fast you're walking, how far you walked, the temperature, your battery life, and of course if you have the extra attachment, the phone charger. It's sleek, it's shiny and it has its own lights, so it grabs people's attention. The unique compact three-dimensional fold. The large sunhood with large mesh peekaboo window is really great, one of my top likes. The six built-in cup or drink holders, four-wheel suspension, and the sandal or pedicure friendly brake. Things to consider. It's heavy for a single stroller, so something to consider if you're going to have to load it into a taller car like an SUV. It is in the high price bracket for the stroller itself and can add up, especially if you want to add the additional accessories so you can use from birth. There are quite a few storage spaces, yet they are all small in size, so you may end up having to still carry a nappy bag over your shoulder. The max weight of the seat is 17 kilos, which might mean you won't get as much use out of the origami than you would have liked. And the handlebar is not adjustable. So that concludes our review of the For Mums Origami Stroller. Now it's your turn to interact with us. If you still want more information about the For Mums Origami, like where you can buy one from, grab your mouse or press your finger on the link now. I'm Christy from Rubber by Bay Reviews. I love testing out baby products to save you money and time and make better buying decisions for baby. Keep up on our latest reviews by subscribing to our channel and like or share this video so we know you want to see more from us or we'll post your comments and questions below.